somehow we wandered back to David Bowie. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. I hope everyone is uh, having a good one wherever you are, however cold it may be, wherever you are, because it is freezing and tundra outside right now. There's snow, ice everywhere. Uh, so I thought we were going to do a, a request from Patreon, which is our patron, Elias. Thank you very much, Elias, for your support, bro. You've been here for a very long time, and I appreciate you, bro. Um, his pick is the title track of Station to Station, uh, Station to Station, and by that is by David Bowie, and we're going to be checking that out today. So let's get right into it. If you guys are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click the icon somewhere. I think it's down there. I'd really appreciate it. it takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free, and we are... 500 away from 10k thank you so much guys seriously i appreciate y'all so much here we go station to station by david bowie three two one That sounds crazy. <laughs> A strange opening. <laughs> I dig it. That's so good. <laughs> That is some groovy shit, dude. What a good motif. has like this inherent groove to it underneath everything. Ding, bang, bang. Sound, the ocean, lost in my
so good. <laughs> He creates the soundscape so well, all these musicians he's got with him. They know what they're doing. Ooh, that piano's good. Drummer's been laying it down the entire time, dude. It's some sick rhythm, seriously. Dennis Davies. Dennis Davies. Stand these motherfuckers smoking this house. Solo. <laughs> Station to station. Can't be 
late. that tons of people were dancing to that one. So I totally could see myself dancing to that out in the dance floor, my weird ass. <laughs> Back in the, what that was like the late 70s, right? Yeah, 76, so mid 70s. Just out there in the clubs. <laughs> that was good, man. That was really, really good. That might actually be my favorite song of his, of the couple that we listened to, man. That that composition was great. Like, it was just like a couple of the same motifs over and over, but eventually it just gets drilled into your head, and then that switch happens halfway through, and they add the piano to it. It was, that was really good. That made 10 minutes fly by. I felt like a five-minute song, to be honest. Um, he just has these, like, I don't know, iconic-sounding vocals, or I don't even know what the word would be for it, but, like, it's just every time he sings, you just, like, are trying to pay attention as much as you can to it and, like, try to hang on to every word that's coming out of his mouth because it's, I don't know, it seems like it's important and it sounds really good. I don't know how to describe what I'm feeling, but he's really good at grabbing your attention and just not letting go for the entire song. Um, I don't know if that was him or Carlos who did the solo there that in the middle to the end part, but that was a sick solo. Uh, George Murray on the bass guitar, absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, I thought he was killing it as well. Uh, there's also War and Peace. Roy Bittan, of course, Dennis Davis on the drums. Uh, Earl Slick was also a guitar. There's just so many people that were on this album. I don't know exactly who's doing what, but um, I know uh, David made up for most of that song, and man, he is just so talented. It's like, it seems like he can do almost everything, because it says that he did the tenor and alto saxophone, mini moog, mellotron, guitar, vocals, like, what a talented and just like a, my favorite adjective, my favorite word, not adjective, uh, multifaceted. Um, he can do it all, man. Whatever you need to bring to a song or to a project, man, he can just bring it. And he's got that style and charisma just oozing out of him, dude, that it's just, uh, it's kind of hard to beat, honestly. I don't mean just from that like kind of dance pop rock sort of vibe that he goes for. And he always puts like his kind of attitude and snark in there that I love. I really appreciate that. You can just hear it for the way he sings and his cadence and everything. He's got attitude, and I really, <laughs> I like that, man. He, and people with attitude always got style, and not everyone with style's got an attitude, though. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but I think, yeah, of course, Dave is my favorite part. Whoever did that solo was great. Um, George Murray on the bass guitar, and then Dennis Davis on the drums. He was laying down some sick rhythms in this track. Uh, like I said, it was mostly, like, repeated motifs, like, throughout the song, but... Once it hit that kind of switch part in the middle, um, he was laying down some even more funkier stuff. It just gives you that head bob and that constant, like I said, that, uh, it's like this constant groove on the under part of it, and it just makes you dance, man. I love it. it. makes you feel good. I love music like this. I don't know exactly what they were talking about. I know that they can't be late, and it's the, uh, the song's called Station to Station, so maybe they're trying to catch trains and not be late. I know that... The trains are very important in uh, London and stuff like that, as they are in our country as well. But I think they're a little more famous over there on that side. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was great, man. I really enjoy listening to him because it always puts me in a better mood than I was beforehand. Like, I'm honestly kind of sick and not doing too good. Just, you know, a little, just, uh, just a little sad over my grandpa, you know. Like, he had his operation and we're still trying to figure out what's going to happen with them, you know, and the winter, the snow, I just get seasonal depression, it feels like, even though I try to stay out of it and, you know, just say what I'm grateful for and enjoy this music and enjoy you guys' company and stuff, you know, it's just hard sometimes, but I'm doing my best, I'm uh, I'm hanging in there, um, I really enjoy this channel, I can't believe we're about to hit 10k, and we've added so many artists in the past uh, 16 days, since the new year started, I've been on a tear. And uh, we've been introduced to the 60s, to the 80s, a little bit of the 90s, just all over the place. And um, it's a lot. So, and I'm just one person. So I'm going to try my best to like, you know, maybe do three videos a day. Uh, do my best to like do two in the morning, one in the afternoon for y'all. Um, maybe two a day if I can't handle that sometimes. But, you know, I've hand I did most of the Patreon requests. I've got like maybe three Patreon requests less to do. 
maybe I think like two page requests I have to do. I've been I got a bunch of Pink Floyd ones, but I'm trying to space it out as best I can just because I don't want to piss people off, you know, and just do Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd. But I have to do um, Echoes Live from Pompeii as well for that one. Uh, that's coming up in a day or two. And, of course, we'll have our usual weekend fair as well. So that is what's coming up. Thank you again, Elias, for your Patreon pick. This was great. Um, definitely my favorite uh, Bowie song so far. And I, and I said, like, I've heard some things off Black Star and the stuff with DJ we did last week and Stay. Stay is so good. Oh, my God. I listened to that song so much since the, I did that video. But literally, I think at least 10 times just because it's short and, you know, you can play as many times as you want. And then my Pandora is, like, the one thing I do pay for. Like, bill-wise, it's not, like, I don't know, super needed. You know, it's, like, my only extra thing I really try to pay for because it's, you know, even that's, like, 10 bucks a month, you know. But that unlimited music, you can download whatever, play whatever, whenever. It's so awesome, dude. It really, really is. <laughs> I've downloaded so much good stuff thanks to you guys. Y'all have expanded my musical taste to uh, beyond uh, the limit that I thought that it would be. So thank you very much. Y'all are much appreciated. If you guys don't know, we have a Patreon right there. Ding, ding, ding. We are, uh, I think, pushing 130 members now, guys, which is insane. We've gained, like, almost 40 new members in the past couple weeks. Thank you so much, guys. Your support is so appreciated. And like I said, it is all I got right now. I had an interview um, today, actually, but uh, I probably won't know about that for a couple days. And hopefully they like me. Like, I, I kind of felt like I might not fit in there as well as the last restaurant I was in, but I still interviewed well for it. So hopefully we'll get it. Um, if you join the Patreon, if you're in the $15 tier, you have to get one free request a month. Um, and if you want to just do a regular request, you don't like Patreon, there is a PayPal link in the description. That's the best way and the most direct way to support the channel. And, um, I'll get it done probably a lot quicker than the Patreon request. <laughs> Even though I do those pretty quick, to be honest, I usually get them done within the first week or two. And then I'm like, oh shit, what do I do for the rest of the month? But we always find a way. I appreciate y'all. Have a good day.